Again, the word of the Lord of hosts came. I am zealous for Zion with great zeal. With great fervor, I am zealous for her. I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth, the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Old men and old women shall again sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each one with his staff in his hand. Because of great age, the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in its streets. If it is marvelous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, will it also be marvelous in my eyes? Behold, I will save my people from the land of the east and from the land of the west. I will bring them back, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. They shall be my people, and I will be their God in truth and righteousness. Let your hands be strong. You who have been hearing in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets who spoke in the day the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord of hosts, that the temple might be built. For before these days there were no wages for man, nor any hire for beast. There was no peace from the enemy for whoever went out or came in. For I set all men, every one, against his neighbor. But now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days, for the seed shall be prosperous. The vine shall give its fruit, the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these, and it shall come to pass, that just as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you, and you shall be a blessing. Do not fear, let your hands be strong. For thus says the Lord of hosts, just as I determined to punish you when your fathers provoked me to wrath, and I would not relent, so again in these days I am determined to do good to Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. Do not fear, these are the things you shall do. Speak each man the truth to his neighbor. Give judgment in your gates for truth, justice, and peace. Let none of you think evil in your heart against your neighbor and do not love a false oath. For all these things are things that I hate.